I have known of Leonard Peltier for many years. I have spoken with him and I have felt his pain. I have watched him endure the ravages of the long years in prison. I am aware of his efforts to bring light to the outside world through writing and through his art. Leonard Peltier has been in prison since 1977. He's been there so long that an entire generation is unaware of his case. And now, after 38 years, his health is in serious decline. President Obama and the First Lady have taken a personal interest in America's indigenous peoples. And there is hope for empowerment for our original environmentalists for the first time in generations. We are asking the president for clemency so that Leonard can live his last days in peace in the land from which he came. Leonard has remained hopeful and positive, using his time in prison to paint images of the indigenous life he once knew, of his ancestors and his children. His art keeps him connected to the outside world and in touch with his humanity. He also wrote a book called Prison Writings, My Life is My Sundance. Leonard has been nominated for several human rights awards, including the Frederick Douglass North Star Award. Each year, he sponsors a New York University scholarship for a Pine Ridge student and organizes a toy and clothing drive for the people of Pine Ridge during the holidays. It is a measure of this man's humanity that though we may have forgotten him, he has never forgotten us. Silence, they say, is the voice of complicity. But silence is impossible. Silence screams. Silence is a message. Just as doing nothing is an act. Let who you are ring out and resonate in every word and every deed. Yes, become who you are. There's no sidestep in your own being or your own responsibility. What you do is who you are. You are your own comeuppance. You become your own message. You are the message. All of us have one thing in common. We would like to see Lorna Berthier be free now. Peace. Please join us in asking President Obama to grant clemency to Leonard Peltier. I will. I will. I will. I will. Will you? I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Will you? We, we will. will. We ask Leonard, what's the first thing he would do when he's released from prison? Well, sit down with my people, visit, and have a good meal, and maybe all cry and laugh and sing together, yes? I'd be very grateful for that.